Hello, dear viewer, dear listener. My name is Mumpuluki Liruma Mokhobi, your host of this wonderful podcast, Mokhobi Nuggets of Wisdom uh, podcast. As always, we try to bring you impactful, powerful, and significant content. Today, we're going to talk about entrepreneurship, and I'm so fortunate that my guest today has agreed to join us. He's, I've known him for decades. His name is uh, Guru Guru Muti, and he's uh, an accountant and an entrepreneur. And we're going to talk about the subject of the entrepreneurship ecosystem. Welcome to our makeshift studio here at Black, Mr. Guru. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Thank okay. you so much for inviting me. It is a it's pleasure. wonderful. It's okay. wonderful. This is great. This place is, looks good. Thank you. Would you be kind enough to tell the viewer who you are, what your background is, and what you do for a living? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, my name is Guru, and I'm, I'm just an accountant. I'm an auditor. A business advisor. I'm a chairperson of uh, RSM Botswana and it does tax and consulting and audit work. I've just created a trust called CEDIB. It's called Citizen Entrepreneurship Development Institute of Botswana. It's an offspring of India Botswana Chamber of Commerce and Industry of which I am a chairperson now. Maybe elections will happen in a few weeks' time and I might lose that seat. <laughs> but right now, I'm the chairperson of that organization. Yeah. And then uh, Angel Investors Botswana, the newborn baby. Mm. So I'm also involved there. So I'm one of the... Just tell them a little bit, uh, because that's where you and I, uh, you know, board members were involved with uh, mentorship and so on. Tell them what, what is uh, that organization all about and uh, tell them how they can be part of it. Okay. Uh, we used to have training, we used to have coaching, you know, we used to have uh, mentoring or advising and consulting and stuff like that because we know lots of things from the books or from the experience and we feel, we used to feel privileged mm. to share that information with the entrepreneurs. Okay. But remember, that is an old style, but now mm. the style has changed. So these two organizations have come to tell people that the style has changed. It's no more mentorship, it's mentor-driven capital. And it's no more investment or advice, it is angel investment. So this is the beauty of these two organizations. Yes. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Before we get into what we're gonna talk about in terms of you know, uh, entrepreneurship ecosystem, just let me understand what you mean by entrepreneur or entrepreneurship. I've heard you coin that phrase and I've seen it in one or two places. Oh. What's the meaning? Okay, I mean, I felt that swana prania, which is a combination of swana and entrepreneur, it's a very nice word to remember. So it's the name of a website. You can just visit www.swanaprania.com. It, it belongs to CEDIP, which is Citizen Entrepreneurship Development Institute. It belongs to it. And it more or less talks of whatever I am talking to you now. If you can train yourself using that website. Mm. And in fact, uh, India Botswana Chamber of Commerce and Industry organized an event mm. some two years ago. And the current president, who was then the vice president, came to that event and I gave him a presentation. Mm. And that presentation was called Swana Prania. <laughs> he still signed mm. that presentation. He said, go ahead. Mm. So from that time onwards, yeah. I'm hooked to this word, Swana Prania. Okay. I'd like to think of you and myself as Swana Preneurs. It's, oh, great. It's wonderful. Excellent. Yeah. Listen, now let's get into the heart of it. You know, one of the things you said when we were discussing and preparing for this is that, you know, our successful entrepreneurs are shaken aback. Can you break down that phraseology and explain to the viewer what you mean? I can... You know, this COVID-19, mm. it was a question mark mm. for some time. Mm. And then it became an exclamation mark for everybody. You know, question mark has a bend. Mm. It has to bow down to the exclamation mark, which is just a line. Straight, yes. So innovation prevails. Exclamation is for innovation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. It prevails because it's such a level, it sets a level playing ground mm. for an old entrepreneur, a new entrepreneur, a successful entrepreneur, a not so successful entrepreneur. Everybody has to be innovative now because of COVID-19. Even these big entrepreneurs, you go to a hotel, mm. they, you remember they used to ask you, 
where do you come from now they know that you are going to be there for 14 days yeah. they know you are going to quarantine yeah. they know the bill they know the amount of food you will eat they give they ask for the money in advance <laughs> travel you want thinking of travel you will look like an astronaut if yeah. you really want to go for a travel you never used to look like that yes, yes. ask for a people ask somebody uh, where is the meeting now they say no 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 just send me the Uh, zoom, zoom, zoom invite, you know, yeah, yeah. that is the meeting. Applications yeah. are gone. Now they say application, this is the address you download. Mm. You don't have to. Import, export, guys. Mm. They are now saying, why can't we make it here? Mm. Let me not import, let me not export. Yeah. Everything is in Changing. those days. Mm. I'm telling you, in those days when I used to speak to my old clients, they used to say food is a great industry, invest, you will make money. Meat is a great industry, invest, you will make money. clothes fantastic now they are all digitizing mm. they are all innovating mm. this this is why i'm saying everyone is taken aback okay yes. that's very good i, I think yeah. we can take it a step further now in terms of entrepreneurship um, you know you see there's implicit demand for innovation in other words there's unlimited prospects for entrepreneurship i want you to just take that message and Uh, break it down a bit and unpack it for the viewer. Entrepreneurship is something that needs to be worshipped, mm. if you ask me frankly. Mm. Sometimes we think uh, entrepreneurs are selfish. Mm. I think they are the most selfless people. Selflessness comes from selfishness. Mm. I mean, at least the so-called great people who were really talking so much for the good of the mankind in a way they were also selfish because they wanted their name and fame you know yes, so yes. at the end of the day i think entrepreneurship is something that is the one that is working the economy that is the one that is producing that is the one that is selling mm. that is the one that is making that is the one that is warehousing that is the one that is employing mm. so if it's it's almost like a housewife she mm. almost does everything in a family so entrepreneurs entrepreneurship does it for the economy mm. everyone else in the economy what all they have to do is to nurse mm. cherish mm. celebrate mm -hmm. entrepreneurship so when the government talks about moving from a public sector driven economy to a private sector driven economy that brings a smile to your face because the private sector comes first is that right? is that correct? absolutely private mm. sector comes first mm. and government will do well to push it first mm. you know it's always nice to have the private sector first mm. because that is the truth mm. and that is really the truth i think we have now come to realize because of covid mm. entrepreneurship is the truth mm. yeah you, you one of the things that you believe in is that innovation does not happen without collaboration Talk to the viewer about the importance of collaboration, being sure to give examples from your own experience. Well, we study, we have our parents and we have friends and we have teachers. We come into contact with so many people. So in the process, we pick up some ideas and they settle in our mind. They become a track. Mm. you know like how you track an elephant or track a lion in chobe so mm. there are some tracks that are already you know imprinted in the mm. in your mind map or mm. brain or whatever you want to call it mm. this has to shake you can't follow the same mm. thing all the time innovation mm. is just questioning whatever you thought mm. was the right thing even you may say uh, experienced people if mm. you really ask them they'll say i have a lot of experience so i can tackle it they so are clever why, that's why i want you to talk a bit more about collaboration yeah so mm. unless and until you you open up your mind mm. open the gate mm. break the wall mm. allow other ideas allow other people allow other perceptions Mm. whether you believe in them or not it doesn't mm. matter mm. at least if you can give it a hearing and take it in mm. and then you can chew like a cow mm. and then you can take it out if you don't like mm. but at least you must be receptive mm. there is nothing called failure you must celebrate failure to be honest with you you must celebrate failure so if you're open minded how does open mindedness come only mm. from collaboration mm. if you are sitting in your house all the time 
what open minded are you i mean you can you will go inward mm. so unless you get out and talk to people and ask them people of various walks of times if you ask them talk to them that really is a gateway to innovation that is one of the fundamental you can say sine qua non in your language sine qua non ah sine qua non yeah yeah for 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 that is to is to get legal 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 stuff and latin you know yes mm. i've been awaiting my own word here yes 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 yeah. <laughs> all right mm. yeah okay. so it's important to collaborate yes. let's go further now we i really want us to go back to covid um you talk about uh, you know invention being the mother of what what is the phrase you know necessity is the mother of invention necessity is the mother of invention and you tied to covid you're saying covid is also an invention covid is also a mother of invention mm-hmm. in fact Explain covid that. is not also the mother of invention today mm. covid is the mother mm. i think you can scrap the old proverb and put a new proverb mm. necessity whether it's a mother of invention or not is besides mm. the point covid 19 is the mother of invention it has changed the entire scenario mm. the whole landscape i'm telling you you had to cancel everything you everything know everything you know everything mm. is rubbed mm. you are you wrote 10 pages mm. it's almost all those pages were burnt mm. you are now sitting and taking a new pen and writing on the first page so you it's almost like a turn of a century mm. so it's a turn of a of a thinking mm. process new thinking process so do you think it will be with us for the next 2 3 4 years or longer this well, covid 19 covid 19 is just a mind changer it mm. is just an innovation inducer mm. it might go away in 3 4 years but but the imprint it makes the impact it has produced is permanent i am telling you it's permanent mm. like how industrial revolution of 18th century ruled for 200 years mm. this innovation that covid is causing mm. i'm sure it will rule for the next 200 years wow that's yes, very important yes. that's very important for entrepreneurs to note that covid has yeah. far reaching far reaching implications True. now let's talk about ceb a uh, cedib yes. said it Uh, it was starting to bring out network and collaboration and it was really putting into practice what you just been preaching to us now tell us a bit more about it okay uh, my 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 thoughts are like this this is a new era everything is new we have to think new mm. so i certainly believe that entrepreneurship is also a product like mm. this water Mm. it also has changed mm. now mm-hmm. investment is also a product it has also changed mm. mentorship is also a product it has also changed mm. so you need some pressure groups or some organizations and some institutions to tell people that these things have changed mm. so swana prania website or sedib mm. or india botswana chamber of commerce and industries Uh, initiative mm. you know this has been their initiative for some time even angel investment mm. anant uh, in fact leads that uh, action group within ibcci for angel investment but he has already achieved whatever yeah. angel investment uh, land because one of the things yeah. you said that they you are redefining entrepreneurship absolutely completely mm. redefining mm. so you wanted me to talk of that redefinition yes i'll give you a small example mm-hmm. I am a great business advisor and I used to charge money and I used to give advice and that's how I used to make my living I'm still make my living like that mm. nowadays if I have to 100% make sure that the idea that I'm giving is perfectly correct in your situation mm. in this context I should myself put money into it so that I can test that idea Mm. and if i don't have money at least i must go to somebody ask him i believe i advised this will advice will work can you trust me can you put money so in other words gone are the ideas of just uh, advisors who are sitting back back yes. bench advisors yes you yes. have to get your hands dirty absolutely mm. otherwise what's the point of advising things are changing it's more experiential now mm. right gone are the days where 
bankers never used to be experiential. They have a checklist, tick, 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 give money. No. Mm. You will see that they will depend on angel investors. They are going to ask. Tomorrow's bank will ask, who is the angel investor who has been nursing you a project? Mm. Before you come to me, can you go through them? It's, it's, the whole thing is Because going to Because the trend change. is already like that internationally. Yes, you yes. are right, absolutely. In fact, Standard, Standard Bank mm. is an ardent supporter of, uh, of uh, this movement of entrepreneurship development. They, in mm. fact, have an have a, a incubation center. FNB has. I mean, most banks have these things. I think mm. things are changing. Mm. Things are changing. Experientialism, if I can use that word. This one is going to surprise people. You're yeah. saying that... Um, COVID is a source of luck. That's going to surprise a lot of people, yes. especially when there's so much fear yes. that this thing can bring about your demise and you say it's luck. Explain that. It is. Hmm. It is luck. You know, it's, it's, I'm not talking of the old theory where somebody says it is half full, somebody else will say half it empty. is half empty. It's not like that. Hmm. I'm talking of the real fact that it is half full or half empty, whatever way you want to look at. The truth is that it is a surprise. It is not a shock anymore. Mm. It's a million dollar question. Is health important, money important? You ask in those days before COVID, mm. most of the people will say money is more important. Now, mm. ask one guy to say that money is more important than health. Not even yeah, Exactly, one. so now the world has known the truth. Yes. Certainly health is And it has always been li like that. The world was just misleading. It was getting diverted. Now yes. you, you see it is like bringing back to reality, shaking mm -hmm. you up. Mm -hmm. This is why I say... So that's a positive side of it. Yes, that's definitely. A it's a positive, it's a truth-seeking side of it. I mean, mm. COVID-19 has mm. helped you to find the truth. Yes, that's my belief. Wonderful. I, I really love that. That is so... You've broken it down to be so beautiful. Let's talk about NSO. What is NSO? and what is its role? You see, in, in many advanced countries, uh, this sort of movement that I'm talking about, mm. the angel investment and mentor-driven capital and venture capital and all that, mm. it is just initiated by private sector and all that. But in, in, in country like Botswana, mm. government has done quite a lot of help, quite a lot of favor to the economy, to the people of the economy. So NSO, which is the National Strategy Office of the Office of the President, has taken a lot of efforts mm. to, to really build an ecosystem through Botswana Innovation Hub. We mm. must be grateful to these two organizations, National Strategy Office and mm. Botswana Innovation Hub. Botswana Innovation Hub was the implementer. Mm. National Strategy Office may be a, a thinker. Just yes, for those who don't know, what, what are their main objectives, NSO and the Botswana Innovation Hub? Uh, I'm not very sure of the objectives of NSO, but I know NSO from the days when it started popularizing the cluster concept, mm -hmm. like CESA, like you have economic zone. It is a concept coming out of the cluster. Mm -hmm. You see innovation hub, yes. hub, like mm. we have, we are like a regional financial hub. Mm. This concept of hub or clusterization that mm. you want to, like Lobatse will become a leather hub. You know, mm. this sort of a thinking, mm -hmm. I have a feeling that it came from NSO and NSO is the one Mm. It is like an invention or innovation by NSO. That's how I, I appreciate whatever NSO is doing because that's the right... Does it have full-time dedicated employees running? Of course, yes. It's, mm. it's a full-fledged governmental organization. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I know Mbakiso, I just call him Mbakiso. Marapedi mm. Mbakiso, I just call him. He is <laughs> such a great guy. Yeah. He, he literally was running around mm. uh, when we were creating this Angel Investors Botswana. He literally... Uh, pushed it. He has was pushed it. And yeah, we, yeah, I, yeah. I remember the day when uh, Alan of uh, of Innovation Hub and Mbakiso both were there at the mm. Boto University. I remember I was there. Yeah, at that yeah you were there at that meeting. Yeah. It was almost like I felt as if I was handing over something from them to mm. somebody else, yes. although I'm part of AIB now. Mm. I mean, that was a pleasant moment. So we, okay. we owe this country, entrepreneurs, world, the ecosystem was quite a lot. To national strategy Let, let's let's pivot a little bit you talked in general terms about AIB I want you to help the viewer understand exactly what is AIB and how they can benefit from it assuming the viewer is an aspiring entrepreneur I, I want us to now be more specific okay mm. 
entrepreneurship means something that entrepreneurs have. Mm. How can you define entrepreneurship better than this? You are an entrepreneur, so you have entrepreneurship. So that entrepreneurship in you takes you, you need help, you need support systems. But you know, you go to the government, you go to CEDA, you go to bank, all these people are not entrepreneurs, mind you. They don't know who you are. They don't know what you are. And what you've gone through. So they are looking at you from their point of view. I lend you so much, where is the security? And so on and so forth. Who is the best person to help an entrepreneur? He is an entrepreneur. Mm. Entrepreneurship means empowerment. How can you become a successful entrepreneur without creating more entrepreneurs or without empowering people? Mm. I mean, Bill Gates must have made a couple of billionaires on the way. Mm. You well, know, so then, many more people yeah, must so, have become. Some of the CEOs and We have a problem yeah. in India. Mm. When, when the elephant eats, mm. lots of food will drop mm. to feed tens of thousands of ants. Mm. So, <laughs> I mean... That's a good one. Yeah, it's, so this is what it is. So empowerment is entrepreneurship. And mm. the best person who will empower is an entrepreneur. Mm. The best person who will be empowered is also an entrepreneur. Mm. Why? Because empowerment is in the best interest of entrepreneurship. Mm. So angel investment is, is a type of an investment where an entrepreneur invests his mm. money. Mm. He invests his time. Mm. He invests his expertise. He invests his marketing network. Mm. Can you believe? All these put together. Mm. Because he's taking so much of a risk. So he's able to handhold the new entrepreneur yes. and mentor him. Mentor him, mm. expose him to his own network, mm. and also to invest in that entrepreneur. Mm. Uh, he, does, he does A to Z of everything that the entrepreneurship needs. So AIB, if I understand it correctly, then offers a platform yes. where you can access entrepreneurs, absolutely, entrepreneurs, people who are used to the ecosystem, people Correct. who have been through that road, Correct. Uh, and they're not doing it for free. No. They can join in with what you're doing yes. and hold your hand along the way. Absolutely. Mm. In fact, entrepreneurs, angel investors have got a very special method of valuing their investment. You know, they don't, uh, of course, ultimately everything is profit-based, but there are some concepts in angel investment where they are, they are trained and nursed uh, mm. to see profit that can come after 10 years. They can still mm. fund you because they believe in that concept. Mm. They will not discount the cash flows that will come after 10 years and mess you up. Yeah. They will just say, this is the investment. Can I get 10 times in the next five years? Say, I believe in it. Let me support. Like Google. Mm. You know, Facebook, they were all mm. uh, angel invested products. You know, mm. I mean, once upon a time, there were a lot of angels yes, who invested yes, in them. Absolutely. So, I think this is what even, we are now doing. Uh, even Amazon. Amazon and a lot of them. Absolutely. Yeah. You're right. Now, let's talk about support from employers. Uh, this one, I wasn't sure whether you meant employers who are currently employing a future entrepreneur or what do you mean? Yeah. What I thought of was something like this. Mm. Every, entra every, every employer has mm. an employee. Mm. So I'm talking of those employees now. I know they are not entrepreneurs, mm. but they can be intrapreneurs, not with an Intra, e. I like that. Yeah, yeah I like they, that word. Yeah, not mm. with an E, but with an I. Yes. So any employee only what is the difference between an entrepreneur and an employee mm. uh, entrepreneur takes more risk mm. and employee is risk averse mm. if you leave the risk aspect out mm. why can't an employee enhance the selling of his organization why can't he contribute to reducing the costs of his organization mm. why can't he be entrepreneurial why mm. can't he innovate why mm. can't he do the same thing using a different from way? within the organization yes why mm. can't he deliver a wow product mm. so these four things if he does mm. he is surely an entrepreneur for mm. him to get an e what all he needs is to take risk mm. Mm. that's mm. that's that's why i said employer should offer training to their own employees to become entrepreneurs because that will improve their productivity. Mm. Everyone will feel that he's a boss of his process. Mm, 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 mm. It's a way to take leadership to the next level. This is what I felt. Makes sense. I'm 100% with you on that. 
Now, let's talk about government support. Government traditionally has been very bureaucratic, very uh, difficult to get support from. But you believe that government support is very important. How do we nurture and develop that support from government? It's happening. It is really happening. I, I think even the government uh, institutions, mm -hmm. they are aware. They are also innovating. They also have ways and means. They are also changing. They are also adapting to understanding mm. entrepreneurs in a different way. Mm. COVID is really bringing the reality. Mm. It is settling down in everyone. Mm. So the support from the government will surely change positively. I'm not, I, you know, days are not far off when they are going, when you might get a call from CEDA. They mm. might say, come in for a pitch. Mm. They will never ask you to submit a business plan like how they used to, used to do in the old days. Yeah. Maybe the Hansi Sida manager and maybe the Habroni Sida manager will be choosing you. Let me fund you. Yeah. Let Hansi manager not based fund you. on the exactly. entrepreneur. Absolutely. Not based on some piece happen. of paper. Yeah. Yes, it can happen because that's that where it matters. It yeah. can definitely happen. People mm. have to be trained mm. not only in pitching but also in rewarding for good pitches. Because business plan stays for five years without a change. But business model canvas changes every every week. So people have to know what's a business model canvas. Yeah. So I think Speaking of changing. pitching, dear viewer, there is a, a Nugget of Wisdom podcast, which you can look okay. at a program. Look for it. It's called Pitching. Just when you mentioned pitching, I said, yeah, no, really no, you can learn about the 10 aspects of pitching, which I've shared with, uh, with the view on a previous Excellent. occasion. Excellent. Now, we're coming to, um, to number 10, where we are now talking about other stakeholders. The obvious stakeholders, you're saying we need support from all stakeholders. The obvious ones are government. The obvious ones are obviously an employer and then the entrepreneur himself. Who are the other stakeholders that you say we need support from? Banks can support. Mm -hmm. Because high net worth indi individuals are angel investors. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. So banks can trust angel investors. Mm. They can fund angel investors. Obviously not directly to angel invest because their risk portfolio may not admit it directly. But, mm. but in, in one way or the other, it's all portfolio. Mm. So we can get support from the institutions. We can get support from uh, your own homes, from your parents, because mm. oh, it's great, let us angel invest. Yeah, also stakeholders. Also yeah. old, uh, old uh, generation employers, mm -hmm. I mean uh, entrepreneurs, mm. can still support this sort of a new trend in entrepreneurship. Mm. I mean they are also, because they used to stop with advising and that was enough in those days, that mm. was more than enough. Mm. Now they can uh, do a little bit more than mm. just talking and leaving it at that. They mm. can invest or they can ask somebody else to invest or mm. whatever you know we can create funds mm. for example if you are an angel investor and if you have limited money you can be a fund manager mm. in the modern world mm. in other words you are an angel funder yes. you, are a f you are an angel fund manager yes so you're using somebody else's money to do but you'll be reporting to him yes you are like a, not a beneficial uh, angel investor but a nominee angel investor yes, I mean, yes. these things can happen mm. so with the support of the all the, the people, network, yes. yeah, the whole network, you know, mm. I think it can happen. Yes. Okay. As we come to the close of our discussion, I'd like you to look at the camera, Mr. Guru, and share with the viewer your takeaway or the most important aspect of your message, something that they can take away rather. Uh, so something inspirational, something motivational that you want to leave the viewer with. Snake knows how the other snake moves. This is my famous thing. I said this. Mm. In this one afternoon meeting also. Say that again. A snake knows how the other snake moves. Yes. So the entrepreneur knows all about the other entrepreneur. <laughs> so don't worry if you are an entrepreneur, yeah. you will surely be get supported by another entrepreneur. Yes. So knock on some other entrepreneurs do. Open mm. up, seek help, ask. Mm. There is angel investment body and there is the SEDIM. There are many such organizations to support entrepreneurs. Take advantage of them. Mm. So best of luck to entrepreneurship. God bless entrepreneurship in Botswana. Amen, amen. amen. Now, before we part, I'd like you to tell the viewer how they can reach you. If somebody maybe is interested in some of your businesses in terms of you know, maybe accounting, auditing, 
how do they reach you and what services can you can you make available to them well you are now making me sell rsm but that was not the main purpose as to why i was here but, uh, but you yeah. can check the website of rsm botswana there is also a youtube uh, video you can just go to youtube and type rsm botswana but for the purposes of this event if you want to approach me or get hold of me swanaprinia.com mm. just go into swanaprinia.com and you will find all the details about me mm. so my name is guru i mean it's easy to get hold of me or send an email to partners at rsm.co.botswana mm -hmm. facebook linkedin yeah of course you i have a there. profile in uh, facebook and linkedin yes. okay all right it remains for me to take this opportunity to thank this great man for taking time out of his busy schedule you can see that he's talking from his heart you can see how passionate he is about entrepreneurship so please go through this video two or three times and learn everything there is to learn from all this wisdom not only learn but run with it and actually do something about it thank you very much it was a privilege and an honor until next time this is your host mumpulukilurumo mokobe signing off